When you look at this picture, you see two normal looking structures and it looks fine, but this place would soon be the graveyard of countless bodies. 139 garrison British troops were stationed here on January 22nd, 1879. Rourke's Drift is inside Natal, a province in South Africa, and during the Anglo-Zulu War, this was a supply depot. The Battle of Rourke's Drift happened soon after the valiant victory at Isinwana by the Zulu Kingdom. On the British side, they had Lieutenant John Shard, as well as Lieutenant Granville Bronhead, who both were responsible for commanding the soldiers throughout the battle. At around 4 p.m., 4,500 Zulu warriors were sent to attack Rourke's Drift. The Zulu offensive started at the bank of Buffalo River. Prince Dabalu Manzi, who was commanding the Zulu warriors throughout the battle, sent an attacking force of Zulu spearmen down the hill just north of the camp. The first wave of Zulu attack approached the hospital. The first wave was a catastrophe. The Zulu warriors were mowed down by the British superior firepower. Afraid of taking more casualties, the Zulu commander sent his army around. They then attacked the camp from multiple sides, as well as put inexperienced snipers with old muskets on top of the hills to fire down on the British. Though the musket fire did cause many casualties on the British side, it didn't last long as they met the same fate. The Zulu finally started storming over the sandbags by crawling on top of their own dead bodies. Once the Zulu had pushed themselves into the camp, the British were forced to retreat behind a makeshift wall, where from that wall they fired down on the Zulu causing many, many deaths. Now having access to the camp, the Zulu stormed the hospital. Most of the British inside were able to escape through a window and get behind the wall as well, but a few had died. Amongst the chaos, they had also set the barn on fire. The Zulu sent an attack from every single side after that, and after realizing that they were making no progress, just taking casualties, they decided to retreat. An attack the next day was planned, however British troops had reinforced by that time, and Zulu warriors were very undersupplied. Overall, throughout the battle, 17 British were killed and 15 were injured. However, the Zulu had suffered much more. Throughout the battle, they had taken 351 deaths and over 500 of their men had been wounded. After the battle, war crimes were committed by the British. Instead of simply finishing them there and then, they had tortured them until they had died.